Welcome to Video Quick Tips, the show that brings you tips and techniques to help you produce better video. I'm Bill Mecca. In this episode, I want to say, hello, Dolly. Table Dolly. Slider Dolly. It goes by a bunch of different names, but this is one I built recently from some plans I found online. I will have some links at the website, BillMecca.com, where you can find the original video. JG Pastor Jack came up with this design. He had a previous version with some L rods, but this one works out much better. It's perforated tubing, some nuts, bolts, roller skate wheels. And what's ingenious about this is there's two things. One is the threaded rod, so you can adjust the size of this. As you can tell by the way the wheels are set up, it will roll on say a two by four. Or if you're on location, a railing or anything you can find. You can get a two by four. What I wound up doing was getting a uh, foldable sawhorse from Harbor Freight for about 26 bucks. It had a handle on the side to carry it. I drilled out the rivets for that so this can roll right along there. And the threaded rod means that you can adjust the size to infinite possibilities within the length of your threaded rod. I mean you could get a really long threaded rod and make it four foot wide if you wanted to. I don't know what you'd run it on but you can. Uh, the other thing is that there's a, a mending plate on here that I've mounted a quick release to. If you don't have anything to run it on, you can take the plate off, turn it over, mount it the other way, and you have four wheels here that you can run it on. I've done some test shots out in the driveway, so let's take a look at that. One of the things you may have noticed there is it's kind of difficult to get this to roll exactly the right speed. I mean, you've got your do you're moving it by hand. Uh, one of the things I have thought about trying, and if you decide to make one of these or buy one of these, you might try it too, is the tripod rubber band trick. Maybe hooking a couple rubber bands on here and pulling it that way, and that might adjust for the difference in tension as you're pulling it along. The other thing I want to do is get an old or a cheap tripod head and put that on here instead of a quick release so I can get some tilting ability. So if you're doing product shots, you can see the depth into the table, into the products. Uh, but that's it. This cost me about $40 to build. He sells it. I'm not sure what the current price is. We'll have a link at BillMecca.com on the uh, story with this video in it. So you can check it out. JG Pastor Jack, MoveYourCamera.com. And it's an ingenious design. So that's about it for this episode of Video Quick Tips. I'm Bill Mecca. Happy Dolly Shots. Cool. Quick Tips is brought to you by Mecca Video Productions, producers of the award-winning documentary Lost Towns of the Pine Barrens, Volume 1. For more information, check out losttownsvideo.com.